Hi guys, to host an ATN on Google Cloud always for free instead of running it locally and keeping your device always on. So first we are going to search for Google Cloud. Hit on the first link. Once opened, log in with your Google account. Hit on console. Then open on test project or your current project and add a new project. And you can name it whatever you want or name it something like an ATN. Upperscore Google, Upperscore Cloud. Hit on Create. Let's wait for it. And hit on Select the Project. And to make sure the project is selected, open on the project. And you can see it's selected. So we are going to hit on the hamburger menu, then on Billing, and then Link a Billing Account. Create Billing Account. Choose your country and agree and continue then you are going to add a payment profile and a payment method the payment profile make it as individual once all created you can hit on manage billing account choose your project on the three dots hit on change billing choose your billing account you have just set up and hit on set account and that's it all you are good to go. Open the hamburger menu and go down to Compute Engine, then VM Instances. Hit on Enable. Before we start, I'm going to show you on Google Cloud Docs on what are the conditions to run an ATN for free on Google Cloud. First, we are going to need an E2 VM instance, and the location will be one of these three. We will go with the Iowa US Central one. We need 30 gigabytes monthly standard persistent disk and one gigabyte of outbound data transfer from North America. So let's start now by choosing our correct free settings to have an ATN free. First, start with selecting the correct free region, which is US Central One, and choose the E2. And we will go with E2. And then we'll go to OS and storage. It's now 10 gigabytes, but we are going to benefit from the whole 30 gigabyte. And standard resistant disk, choose it. And let's make it 30 gigabyte. Hit on select. Once selected, scroll down to networking and make sure to check all the three so we can access an atm hit on create let's wait now once you created the status should has a green check mark hit on ssh a new window will pop up hit on authorize now it's authorizing once finished a terminal will pop up you can go now to the link in the description below. We'll take you to this blog post of how to run all the commands to install NetN with Docker on this remote server of Google Cloud. First, we are going to update the package. Copy and paste it. Now it's finished. To the next command, which is to install Docker. Copy it from the website, then paste it in the terminal. Type Y. Now we are waiting. Great, finished. To the third command to start Docker, copy it, then paste it. It's just a straightforward way for the easy steps. Copy to enable Docker, paste it. Now Docker is enabled. Now we need to get and attend our Docker, but first we are going to change this. To our domain URL or to our subdomain dot domain URL. So first, let's get a domain. Let's go to Cloudflare, which is where my domain is registered now. I will log in. Just a simple, easy, fast way. Once logged in, you are going to either buy a domain. It's going to cost you between five or fifteen dollars a year, or you can get your domain. 
and then go to DNS records after you add your domain. We are going just to add one record, which is going to be our subdomain. But first, let's turn off proxy status. You can use any other register like name cheap, whatever you want. Copy the external IP from Google Cloud, paste it here. And remember to turn off proxy status. I'm going to choose another secure subdomain. I'll go with this one. Or you can go with just an item, whatever you like. Hit on save. Now I'm going to go with the subdomain option, or you can go with the domain option, whatever you like. So I'm going to copy it and paste it in a notepad to change the placeholders. Just select your entire subdomain dot your domain dot com and replace it with our new URL or with our new subdomain dot dot com or whatever your domain is. Great. Now all replaced. Let's copy it all. I'll go back to the terminal, paste it, and hit enter. Now it's going to install anything. Once installed, anything will be exposed now on the port 5678. We need to install Nginx. So just copy this command and paste it in the terminal. Type Y. Now it's going through, it's finished. Let's go back to the website and we need to configure the new Nginx file or configuration file. Paste this command. Now we are inside the file. We need to copy and paste the following, but make sure to change to your new domain or your subdomain, whatever you chose. I will edit it here in the notepad. Just remove this comment. And here, where the change will be. So paste it here. Just choose all, copy it, and paste it here. Great. Now, Control X to exit and to be saved. To our next command, which is going to be to enable the configuration we have just made. Enter. Great. Now it's enabled now. Let's test it and restart the configuration. Copy and paste so we can restart nginx after running this command if you had this error you can fix that by running this exact command which will be down in the description you can just copy it and paste it it will open a file we need to change a few things so go down with your arrows let's change 64 to 128 so we can increase the bucket size make a new line let's type server underscore names underscore hash underscore max underscore size to be 2048 and then a semicolon once finished you can exit it by Control x then press y to save the changes we have made let's try the command that gave an error again Paste it, and you can see now it's giving no errors. Great, now for the fifth step, we need to install Servot. It's going to give us an SSL certificate. Just copy the first domain and paste it. Press Y. Now it's finished. Let's obtain the SSL certificate. Copy it. Make sure to copy the first line, not the second line, because the second line is a comment. Change it to your subdomain or your domain. Great, now paste it in the terminal. Hit enter. Let's wait for it. Enter your email, whatever email you have. I'll go this one. Type Y. Type Y. Great, let's wait for it. And it's all done now. 
Now let's copy the URL and paste it in our browser. And you can see now anything is working correctly on Google Cloud. A sign up page will show now. Great. Just put your email, first name, last name, and password. And here you go, in a ten on Google Cloud. So no need from now to keep your device on. And in the future, if you want to update an ATN or Docker, simply go back to this website and follow these steps. If you want to update an ATN, just run these commands. And if you want to update Docker, also go with these commands. I drop exclusive automations and resources inside AF, my school community. Join now using the link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.